Hey everybody, Callie here. Let's go to Whistler! Just kidding, I tried to film a video in Whistler and I ended up getting about one clip. Roll the footage! Ooh. Hi! Hi everybody. It is in fact quite moist. It's condensation. Much like squeezing a juicy fresh zit, mountain biking is distracting and all-consuming. And once you start, it's really hard to stop, which is why I returned home with no footage. But do you want to know what's not distracting and all-consuming? Let me tell you. Hiking. Hiking is the wonder bread of the great outdoors. It's the one thing that you can claim as your hobby that is literally devoid of any skill whatsoever. Ah, it's glorified walking. Walking on a path that's been trodden down by thousands of other people and looking at trees that troubled teens have carved their initials into. While scientific studies indicate that hiking reduces risk of heart disease, arthritis, and osteoporosis, lowers blood pressure, improves circulation, encourages weight loss, strengthens joints and muscles, improves balance, reduces stress, anxiety, and depression, enhances cognitive function, improves respiratory health and lung capacity, helps regulate your circadian rhythm, and more. I'm solely choosing to go because I have a self-imposed YouTube deadline. And there's nothing that better reflects the mire that is my YouTube channel than this wonderful swamp. Let's go explore, shall we? There's one. Hi, hey, Mr. Frog. Chilling in the swamp. Don't you just want to give him a little lick? A nice little lick. Oh, just me? Well, yeah. He just, you know, kind of like reminds me of my ex-boyfriend for some reason. It's weird. Hi, folks. We have our first wild edible of the day. This is called Salau. These turn into nice juicy, just kidding, they're not juicy at all. These turn into nice hard berries that you can actually eat. They don't taste good like most wild edibles. Let's see what else we can find. Turtles. This was actually my first time ever seeing a wild turtle in Washington and I was so excited I forgot to take a shelfie. Sorry, I totally couldn't resist making that joke. While walking along the shore of this beautiful lake, something interesting caught my eye on this log. This plant right here is called a sundew, and I have wanted to see one for so long, and I this is the first time I've ever seen one. That is a carnivorous plant native to Washington. How cool is that? Let's take a closer peek. Look at all those little guys on their happy little plant island. Sundew Island, baby. Paradise, unless you're a bug. All those little water droplets that you see are like a sticky sap that traps the bugs and then the leaf folds around them and eats them. Seeing all those sundews digesting insects made me hungry for something. So I set off to find some wild edibles that I could eat right then and there. Found a madrona tree. Here's what the leaves look like. Very nice. Here's what the bark looks like. So I've got time. So I figured why not do a little nature project. We're gonna make madrona tea. I'm going to grab some madrona bark. Now you want to just grab off the chunks that are peeling and it's not going to hurt the tree. Let's go gather some lake water, make ourselves a little bevy. For all you blokes that don't speak fluent Australian slang, that means beverage. What I didn't realize was that my delicious tea was going to quite closely resemble what the sundews like to eat. There are tons of little tiny bugs in here. <laughs> like a lot. It's kind of gross. As you can see, this water has an extremely healthy bug population. Look at all those little guys go. If I boil them and they die, then it's fine. Now Dusty's drinking my water. Get out of here! There's a whole lake that you've had to use. Let's give these guys a little roasty toasty. And now we wait. They've been cooking for like 30 seconds and they're already dying, so clearly a weak species that deserves to be wiped out. You can see the dead bugs floating at the surface. 
just really let that bug steam purify my pores. Focusing on this guy. Vogue Beauty Secrets. Who needs a handle? Are there any signs of life remaining? Wow, I guess I should get a water filter. Who would have thunk? I'll just use my little bag here as my strainer. Now, I'm gonna take my Madrona bark and I'm gonna toss it in. All right, that looks nice and dark. I think we should give it a sample. It smells a lot like black tea. We'll just use this to strain. It's fairly clean. It's not, but <laughs> this is what we're using. You can see all the little dead buggies. I wonder how many dead buggies made it into my tea. <laughs> you can see them, you see them. You see all the dead little yellow dots. Here's our delicious forest beverage. Looks quite nice in its matching rust colored cup. All right, boys and girls, it's time for some delicious Madrona pond scum tea. I can see some dead ones in the cup. You know what? I am trying to build muscle, so. <coughs> I'm just kidding, it's good. <laughs> if you like regular tea, which is already kind of, then you'll like this. But it is really nice to be able to like enjoy a cup of wilderness tea beside a lake and it's drizzling out so there's no one around. The wilderness is sick, yo. All right, Dusty, should we get the hell out of here? One more drink to make it really look like I'm enjoying this stuff. <sighs> okay, time to go home. <laughs> And I met the love of my life, again. Number five today. Oh. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Free the weasel. What are you doing? Paw on my foot. Okay. Yes, Dusty. Leave no trace? Doesn't even matter. No trace to be left. Completely naturel. Do you want some bike soup?